It's not illegal. No, if it was. It's not illegal. And okay, he won't answer that question. He won't answer that question. Question. So are this relevant question because so, that will never be the case. Again. How do you know it's never? Never say never. I, I would put all my money on it. I would put every. How much have you got? Yes. Not worth it. I knew it. <laughs> exactly. That's what I mean. Alcohol will okay. So anyway, let's let's get You'll back, back to it. so so basically. Be be banned it was banned in the, no. in the United States at one point. Yes. Well, not. No. no. It was. No. Look in it some up. States not across America. It was. You, <laughs> you bumped. You absolute numpty. Yeah. I think you had a muppet anyway, if you think alcohol is good for you. Be banned across Europe. Okay. Or in any single European it's, country. It's, it's, do you agree with the scientists that any amount of alcohol is bad for you? No scientists. Like scientists yeah. are saying that. That's rubbish as well. Oh, so you don't believe the scientists entire, either? The entire world of science is saying there is <laughs> that alcohol is. So bad. this, That's this, this you're going to show me one science. Yeah, you're not showing me the entire yeah. world. It's of not science. one science. This is a study. You haven't even looked at a the past. Study passage. by who? He's already rubbished it. Because I know when you come out with your phone and say, and here you go, that you've already got up on your phone. Alcohol, we're drinking it, we're fine. So if you drink, if you choose not to drink it. That's fine. So I, anyway, allow people so, that want so, to drink. So we, fine. so we got. Never change the law in this country. You're not a scientist, you right? You'll never. You are, well, I was actually trained and qualified as a scientist, but I don't work. Have you have you done any studies now. on alcohol? You're randomly bringing up one article that says it's alcohol so random. is bad. I can show you many. How many do you want? Well, how many do you want to show that it's not bad? Okay, show and me why it's not bad. I tell you what, show me an article where it says it's not bad. This, this couple is probably an example of alcohol not being bad. Steve, you're a very bad example. No, do, do why would I take you as an example? I, 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 now we're going I down the ad hominem. But you said example. You can't win the argument. No, the argument. You know what is an academic argument? When you have a consensus of a scientist, when you have consensus... You're, you're, you're hiring your, uh, your your voice is going up, but I think like like you said I know I've not I'm, I'm a pocket but I know that there have been things that I say if you take two glasses of red wine that it's good for your heart. There are also studies about that. I heard that as well. Do you know Do you know what they don't tell you? How bad it is for your liver. But 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 that's, the, your liver is made. It's a, it's an organ just made for that if you consume it in a in a not a, a, a too much to, it's a fabric that, that you know my friend because you both have been drinking all your life maybe so you have convinced yourself that without this i cannot live no, no. can you live without I, alcohol I, I, of course. do you think i drink every day alcohol do you think i didn't say you drink every day no, I don't all i'm saying day. all i'm saying is that we have we, we we have this consensus from the scientists now who claim? But, but what is your point? But we are not bad because we are drinking alcohol. By the way, Steve, it's from the sorry, Lancet. Sorry, don't be so fucking ignorant. We're talking. It's from, the, like it's from the Lancet. You don't like it. <laughs> you have just been debunked. <laughs> oh, you're such, you're you're such a child. You're, you're, you're such a child. child. Not me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, oh, he, doesn't like that one. he doesn't like that one. This is Where from the. La by the way, this Stop is. Stop performing for the this cameras. Is, this is from the Lancet. So it's not some random study. It's from the Lancet. The Lancet, do you, have you even read, read it? This question about nutmeg. No, I don't talk to numbers like you. <laughs> he wants to ask. Me okay, so so what I what I wanted to show these guys here who drink alcohol and who have convinced themselves that alcohol is okay to consume, a study from the Lancet. The Lancet is something which you don't just mess around that people think that is just some random magazine article. No, it is something which is academic. It is something which people take seriously, and it has proven from a study of a large amount of people that alcohol in any amount is something which is wrong. If they don't want to believe that, that's fine. Because they will have this cognitive dissonance that they have convinced themselves that this is something okay, doesn't matter how much you drink or how much you actually consume it, or even if it's in moderation, it's good for you. But here, the study is telling you that no, no alcohol is safe to drink. Global study confirms, look up that title on the BBC, article and you'll find that this is something you know what the, the point I wanted to make with that person I believe he was agnostic was agnostic or atheist yeah so anyway he was saying that we all can live happily we can all respect each other and then we can all decide to say uh, be good but then I asked him specifically what is the definition of good how can you say something is good because one person's good can be another person's evil or bad and he said no it's not like that then I gave him the example of alcohol that if I asked you, is alcohol bad for you? You say, no, it's not. Drinking in moderation is good. Like you said, some doctors say alcohol, uh, sorry, drinking uh, wine, a, a small red quantity wine. of wine, red wine, is good for your heart. But then they don't tell you what it does to your liver. 
and the other organs which, imp which get impacted as well. We have studies in the Lancet which actually prove to us that what Islam has been saying all along, according to Quran, that it's bad for you, it is forbidden for that reason. It's become a circus. Now, speak is called a circus. <laughs> so anyway, we don't want to indulge in circus. We take things seriously, especially when it comes to matters of your life, of your death, of your salvation. And this is what we say that we have the Quran. We use that as a guide and we, we pray that Allah gives guidance to as many people as possible, to our friends, to our families, to everyone. But if people have closed their minds, have closed their hearts, then Allah will put a lock on their hearts. Allah will send them astray because after repeated warnings, yes, like this guy Steve who has been coming here for many years, after repeated warnings, they keep discarding the message, this, then Allah will not give them hidayah because they have now deliberately and by choice voluntarily discarded that advice to them. They have rejected the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah says to them in the Quran, give them the good news of a painful punishment. You know, this is good news for them that they will have a painful punishment. But because they don't even believe in the Akhirah, they believe that this is the only life that they will have, uh, they will encounter. Then what happens is that they have convinced themselves and the shaitan has convinced them that there is no life after that. But we know as believers, as people who have submitted to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the only God worthy of worship, we know that after we die, that is when the real life begins. In the sense that that life is eternal and this life which we left behind is something which is temporary. So Alhamdulillah, Allah has given us the hidayah and we have to make sure that we pass on this message of the Quran and of Sunnah and of Islam to other people. Because there are a lot of people out there who are disbelievers, a lot of people who have gone straight, a lot of people who have gone away from the true path. So it is our duty as Muslims, yes, to acquire knowledge, to gain knowledge and then to pass on this knowledge to other people. Yes, because you are the ones who are going to be the legacy of the prophets, of the messengers, whose duty it was to convey the message. Remember, it's not up to the Prophet or a messenger or even up to Prophet Muhammad وسلم, to give hidayah to someone. Hidayah is always going to be from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our duty and the duty of the messengers before us, whose uh, footpath we follow, inshallah, is to convey the message. You will be held accountable on the Day of Judgment if you do not convey the message, even though you had the knowledge. So please, we are not saying you become scholars. I'm not a scholar. I'm not someone who is an alim, yes? So the Prophet ﷺ told us, convey even an ayah, even one verse from the Quran. And I'm sure everyone can do that. So start small and gradually increase your knowledge. Because if you're going to just say, oh, I'm not a scholar, I don't know much about the Quran and Sunnah, then you have to start somewhere. Start with one ayah, one verse and convey it to other people. Because this is what the Muslims have done today. They have left this, this uh, communal obligation in a way. Yes. And I think in the West, it's become more of an obligation to, according to the interpretation of some scholars that you have to give da'wah in this age, in this, um, uh, in these times. Yes, oh, there's a lot of fitna out there. So we have to, as Muslims, try our best to give da'wah to as many people as possible and to whomever we can. You know, there's no excuse for, for even the sisters not to give da'wah. Today we have social media. There's a lot of opportunities for for Dawa, yes? So we have a channel called Dawa Wise, yes? All you have to do is subscribe to it and inshallah help us uh, by commenting, by forwarding our videos to other people and the same with the other channels here, Alhamdulillah. So with Dawa Wise, the special thing is you will see myself and Mansoor, our videos on, on, on Dawa Wise channel, which are exclusive, which you won't find on other channels, yes? So some of our videos you find on those channels, but if you want new exclusive videos, Please subscribe to Dawa Wise, hit the notification button, hit the like, do comment because it helps to grow the channel and also helps to spread the message of Dawa to everyone. So inshallah, this is um, the last 10 days of Ramadan that we are in. Please try to engage in Ibadah as much as possible. Try to give um, uh, more importance to 
your salah in particular. Yes, the Quran, this is the month of the Quran. In this month, the Quran was revealed to the Prophet Sallallahu Yes, and also try to make dua. Dua is a weapon of the believer. Yes, do not underestimate the power of dua. This is the only thing that can even change your taqdeer. It can change your dec uh, the decree of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Yes, and this is from the authentic hadiths. So please try to make uh, as much dua as possible in the 10 nights. The, the dua for Laylatul Qadr is, uh, um, what is the dua? I keep forgetting now. Okay. Um, and this is a dua which you should repeat that that Allah is forgiven. He loves to forgive. Means forgive me. Forgive us. Yes? This is a dua. It's a very small dua. Please remember it. Please try to memorize it. Allahumma inna ka'fuun tuhibbul affa fa'afu anni. Only three, what he says, uh, sentences. Try to memorize it. It's going to be the best dua. What, is, what does afu mean? It doesn't mean just forgive. It has even a deeper meaning to that. So forgive means Allah still records it for you. Yes, he can forgive you, but whatever sin you have committed, Allah still records that for you. You know, the angels, they record it. So this is still in, in your records. So on the day of judgment, Allah will show you this. And he might say that this has been forgiven to you. Yes, it's still been recorded. What does afu means? Means it is not even remembered anymore. It is not recorded, it is wiped away completely from all record, from all memory. Yes, to the extent that it is now such that your forgiveness is absolute. Yes, where, where there's no uh, record of it as well. So try please to make dua and the most important thing you can do uh, from after doing your salah, your tilawah, your reading uh, the Quran, uh, giving, um, sorry, uh, reciting as many duas as possible. The other most important thing is charity. Yes, so I'm not talking about just your obligation, obligatory zakat, which many people do in Ramadan, alhamdulillah, because of the added rewards, but your voluntary charity, giving sadqa, giving lillah, you know, in the, in, in the path of Allah, there are a lot of people who require this, uh, this help. So the, uh, this is where you can help the dawah as well. So we have a Patreon uh, on dawahwise, it's on our website, dawahwise.com. Please do, um, give as much as you can or whatever Allah has uh, give you the tawfiq of and please try yourself as well to give to other organizations to other charities there are a lot of charities out there who require a lot of people require um, money in these hard times uh, places like Afghanistan places like uh, even India places like um, Palestine uh, Iraq, Afghan, um, said Afghanistan, Syria, Yemen, all these places, alhamdulillah, where there is poverty, there is, uh, to such an extent, people don't even have a proper meal during their iftar time. So please try your best to donate generously because in this month, your donation, whatever good deeds you do, it will be multiplied not only 700 times, but it is up to Allah to increase as much as it as can. Because Allah says, the reward for, for a fasting person is up to me. Yes, it is something that Allah has reserved for, uh, for, by His mercy on the, for us on the Day of Judgment. Yes, and that is where the currency, your rewards will be your currency on the Day of Judgment. So please try your best to do as much righteous deeds as possible. May Allah accept from all of us. Yes, and may Allah make it easy for us to do our amal in these last 10 days. Yes, as the hadith says that uh, during a race, the horse exerts its, uh, its uh, exerts itself to the to the limit when it's coming to the finishing line. So we are coming to the finishing, the end of Ramadan. Yes, and this time what we lost, we'll never get it back. So try your best to exert yourself in ibadah, in uh, in qiyam al layl, in in tarawih, in. Um, in all the all the prayers and the tilawah, try your best to do as much as possible. And inshallah, may Allah accept from us, taqabbalah, and uh, may Allah make it easy for us. Uh, please remember us in your duas. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How is that good? Sorry about the long rant. Sorry about the long rant. Sorry about the